Hello beautiful souls, welcome to Star Child Tarot. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. Um, I am doing a giveaway right now when you're subscribed. And if you like and comment the word love. Until the end of March, you can win a free reading from me. There's several up for grabs. So don't forget to do that. Check out my deck shop, over 90 designs of tarot and oracles. All the links are down below. And my Patreon, just $5 a month. There are some exclusives on there and some are first look before they go onto YouTube. So check that out as well. So today we're doing a pick a pile. And this is a person on your mind, their current thought, feelings and any actions they may take. So this could be anybody. This could be someone you're with, somebody you're in separation from, somebody you've had your eye on maybe. Okay, so we're going to start with the tarot and then we're going to get some oracles to get further clarification. So pile one, we've got the love tarot. Pile two, the romance tarot. And pile three, the art of love tarot. So pick your pile according to the tarot. And we'll get started. Hello, Pile 1. You chose the Love Tarot. There is another name for it, but I've lost the box. Um, so for you, Pile 1, the person on your mind, their current feelings and future actions, we're going to get the Tarot, first of all, and then we're going to look at some oracles to get go a bit deeper with this. So think about the person on your mind. So for Pile 1... For the highest light and love of all, feelings and actions of their person on their mind, feelings and actions, and if you could give us a clue as to who this person is, for the highest light and love of all. So we've got justice here. So it looks like somebody, you know, wants justice here. This could be somebody that works in the legal profession, maybe. But I feel it's more wants justice in a situation with you. And we've got King of Cups. So it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's somebody that definitely has feelings for you here. And we've got Three of Cups. Yeah, it looks to me like they want to take you out. They want to celebrate. They want to have good times with you. Um, you know, really have those fun times together. Yeah, we've got nine of coins, so I feel this person is definitely single, and they see you as single as well. They see you as somebody independent, um, very financially stable, you know, not needy or a codependent person. And we've got transformation here, so I feel maybe that you're not with this person, because it looks like either you or them have been going through a transformation. And they want to come forward with the truth, with the Ace of Arrows. They want to tell you their truth. So I feel this could be somebody that has, has not declared their feelings to you. Okay, this could be somebody that hasn't declared feelings. So let's go a bit deeper. Let's go a bit deeper for the highest light and love. So why is justice now? Wow, we've got Ace of Cups. So definitely love. They want justice in love. They want to put things right here, I feel, between you. Or, you know, have that declaration of love. Because we've got somebody here with feelings and we've got the triumph. This is the world card. They want to have a new chapter with you. This is somebody I feel from, you know, that you're not with. They want to have a new chapter. They want to declare their feelings. They want to take you out. And they want to commit to this with the four of wands. They want to commit to this, build something solid with you. Because they see see you as somebody, you know, very independent. And we've got the five of coins. So they feel left out in the cold. So this could be somebody you're not in communication with, you're not talking to. For whatever reason, you had a falling out maybe. And they're really feeling that loss. They're feeling they're really missing you. And they've done some transformation here. And we've got three of wands. So obviously that's divine timing. They're waiting for the right time. They want to come forward with their truth here. Yeah, they want to succeed with this. They want to succeed in this connection with you. You know, they want to tell you their truth. So let's get some other messages. <clears throat> so what are their feelings? What are their feelings towards this? I mean, it's pretty clear, really, to the, towards their person in part one. 
Yeah, we've got unrequited love. So I feel before it was unrequited love. And that could be why you went into separation. Because it was one-sided at that time. And I feel it was more the person on your mind who didn't wasn't in touch with their feelings at that time. And they're now aware of their feelings. What else? Yeah, and, you know, they didn't... We've got love yourself first. I feel they didn't love themselves, okay? They didn't have a good self-esteem or self-worth. They didn't feel worthy of your love, I feel. Yeah, and they feel that your soulmate is calling in your soulmate. I feel they've been manifesting this, manifesting this uh, reconciliation. And they want to give this another chance. They're hoping that you'll give this a chance, another chance here. So let's get some other messages. So I'm using one of my decks, one love magic, oracle one and two. So let's look at some other messages. Current feelings and actions. Current feelings and actions. Yeah, look at that. We've got love out of the ashes. So they want to rebirth this. They want to come back. Yeah, they hunger for you. You know, they have these passions, this love. Yeah, love eternal. They feel love for you. They they didn't declare that. And they want to take a leap of faith with you. And they're hoping that you will let them. Feelings and actions. Yeah, they believe in the magic of you. They think you're magical. There's something about you. And they want to share that tender loving with you. They want to express their feelings. And heal your heart. I feel you've both been doing healing. And together, coming together, you can heal even more. Yeah, they see your soulmates with the lovers there. They definitely feel your soulmates. So let's look at some actions. What actions might they take? What actions might they take? Yeah, we've got confidence is the key to success. So I feel they're coming into their confidence. Okay, they were not in a good self-esteem. They've been working on their solar plexus chakra. Um, and they know it's getting time to take action, okay, with the moon. And we're in Aries season now. And this is moon in Aries. So it could be during this season, Aries season. Yeah, they want a new start with you. They want a new start. They want to come forward and tell you how they're feeling. And they want to tell you their feelings, bring love into the situation. They want to express that to you. And, you know, they're working through their fears right now. But they, they will want to come forward and express that to you. So I'm going to leave it there, part one. Love and blessings. Hello, part two. So we're looking at the person on your mind. And their feelings and actions right now for you. So for the highest light and love for part two... Who is this person? What are their feelings and actions right now? For part two, for the highest line love, who is this person? Their feelings and actions. So we've got the Knight of Swords, so it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this can talk about fast moving communication. So this person could come towards you with a message. And we've got the page of coins, yeah. So this person definitely wants to communicate <clears throat> through a message of some sort, you know, maybe a text message, a direct message. I feel this person work, has been working hard on a creative project or their finances, focusing on work. What is the person, who is this per person's actions? feelings well we've got king of wands so for some of you it could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius there could be a air fire mix maybe um but this you know the fire energy is somebody who's very passionate loyal driven um you know goes after what they want basically um and this person could have a lot of passion for you Yeah, we've got six of wands, so they want to succeed here with you. They want to um, move this forward with you. 
Wow, we've got the four of wands. Look, we've got a wedding here. I feel somebody wants to marry you. <laughs> you know, we've got, because not all the four of wands show that actual wedding. Okay, so this could be somebody that really wants to commit to you. I mean, not everybody gets married these days, but they definitely want to commit. They feel serious about you. Yeah, we've got nine of wands. So they've been through a lot. I feel that you've been through a lot. This could be somebody you're with right now, okay? Um, but maybe it's been difficult. Maybe it hasn't been smooth sailing. And we've got three of wands. They may be aware that other people, I mean, the three of wands normally for me is like divine timing. But this is you, I feel, with three different men. And they could feel that there's other people interested in you. Maybe they, that's why they want to commit to you. Um, they want to be your one because they know there's other people interested in you. They want to, like, tell you how they feel. So what else can you tell us about their feelings and actions? Yeah, we've got judgment energy here. So they definitely, for some, it could be somebody returning, okay, that... Um, missed this opportunity of you they could feel that you're moving on they maybe they keep an eye on you online and they see there's other people interested in you and they want to come forward um, and explain themselves and resurrect this year they want to have a brand new beginning they feel a lot of passion for you yeah they want to work together with you the three coins they want to build something here it's not any pay, there's not any cup energy though. I'm looking for that. We've got high priestess. So they could see you in that energy. I feel they see you in that energy. You could be somebody that's very empathetic, very sensitive, very intuitive, very maybe a psychic. Um, you know, they see you in that energy, and you know, that can also show not speaking. So it could be that you're not actually in conversation or talking to this person. And that might be why we started off with that Knight of, War, uh, Knight of Swords. Because they want to communicate with you. They want to open up communication. Yeah, they're up in their head about this with the Eight of Swords. Okay, they're overthinking. They're stuck in their heads. Yeah, they got the Six of Swords. So they want to move away from the way things were in the past. But there are no cups. Oh, we've got the cups now. I was going to say there were no cups, but we have got the Six of Cups, which does talk <coughs> about a reconciliation. So again, I feel this is somebody from your past returning. And then we got the Ten of Cups. So after all that, they want this loving relationship with you. They want to offer you this. And they see you as their Queen. They see you as their Queen of Cups. They see you as somebody very loving, very nurturing. And you're a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. You are what they want. Wow. You are what they want there. So after no cups, all the cups came out. Um, <clears throat> so let's have a look. What else? What other, other feelings do they have about you? <clears throat> feelings for part two. Wow, we got engagement. So, I mean, I saw that marriage there. For some of you, this could lead... To an engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They want to commit to this with you. We've got very soon. So they know they, they want to come forward very soon. Because they feel that you're moving away from them. They can feel other people are interested. And they want you to stay optimistic. About you. About them. Yeah, separation, confirming that you're in separation from this person right now. So they want to end that separation between you. They want to end that. So what other energies? <clears throat> and I'm using one of my decks, the Journey of Love Oracle 1 and 2. So you can check that out in my shop. So what other feelings, actions for part 2 does this person want to take? What feelings, actions for part 2 does this person want to take? Or feelings, actions, for part two. Yeah, look at that, time apart. So you've had time apart and you've both been healing. And they see you as a sexy single lady. <clears throat> like I say, they see other people interested in you. 
and they feel this deep connection <clears throat> with you but there may be trust issues between you and there was intense attraction between you and they want to celebrate good times yeah and we got not seeing eye to eye so you had a, some sort of falling out um maybe that somebody didn't want to commit to this at that time okay it's very similar to pile one actually what else <clears throat> what else Yeah, they worry that you've met somebody new. Okay, they could be keeping an eye on you online. But we've got the marriage card again. <laughs> so they, they want to marry you. <laughs> they, you know, they want to commit to this. Yeah, let's get closer. Let's talk about sex, baby. They want to talk about things, not just about that. And they know that you're the person they've been searching for. And they want to have an open, honest talk. I mean, we started with the... Um, the Knight of Swords energy there. So they do want to talk things out with you and be open and honest about their feelings. So what actions, final messages, what actions? <clears throat> God, <clears throat> excuse my throat. The energy is gaining momentum. So a communication could have been very difficult. Like it, there could have been no communication because my throat is really playing up. The answers you need are coming. They're coming forward with the answers that you've wanted to hear. And they've been looking at the bigger picture about this connection. And conclusions are within reach. They want to, <clears throat> you know, come forward with their truth. Excuse my throat. What other actions? Yeah, they're surrendering to the divine, but they're, sur they're trusting in the process of going with the flow. They want to be bold and make the first move. So they want to come forward. They know it needs to be them. And their dreams need a practical plan. So they're putting together a plan of to come forward. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, part two. Love and blessing. Hello, part three. You chose the art of love, Tarot. So the person on your mind, their feelings, actions right now towards you. For the highest light and love, part three. Their person's feelings, who is this person, their feelings and actions right now. We've got Six of Swords, transition. So moving away from the past. Somebody's moving away from the past. We've got the Knight of Swords. So again, watcher, <coughs> excuse me, this person could have been watching you online, but I feel they want to communicate, they want to come in and communicate to you here. Wow, we've got the Ace of Hearts, we've got love here. So this person is feeling love for you. And we've got the Hermit Reverse. So I feel this person was spending time alone to really think about their feelings, to really, you know, get understanding of how they really felt about this connection. And again, maybe you were not together. You're not together right now. So why is the Six of Swords there? Yeah, we've got three of swords and it came out reverse. So I feel that's healing heartbreak. Person has got over a heartbreak. This could be because you're in separation from each other, but they've healed their heart here. Okay. And we've got the sun. So they're feeling much brighter. They're feeling much happier about themselves. They're in a good energy. Um, and they, they're feeling vital again, they're feeling the vitality come back. You know, we can see the Hermit and the Three of Swords, they've spent some time alone, doing some healing, doing some recovery. Yeah, we've got Three of Cups, Joy. They want to come forward, they want to celebrate with you, they want to tell you how they feel. Um, and we've got the Star, yeah, the Hope. They haven't lost hope in this connection. And, you know, the Star is a card of healing. So I feel maybe you've both been doing healing individually, but they see you as that wish fulfillment. They see you as a wish fulfillment here. So why is the six of swords 
sips of swordza. Yeah, we've got seven of trees, seven of coins, contemplation. Yeah, we can see they've been in contemplation. And, you know, you could have been with this person. You've sowed seeds of this connection, um, but you haven't reaped the harvest yet. So why is the Knight of Swords there? Wow, we've got the Emperor. So he's coming to his Emperor energy. And again, we've got the star there. I feel he's manifesting you. He's manifesting this father. We've got father figure. So he could be a father. He could have children with someone else. Or maybe you have children together. Maybe this is an ex who's coming back um, and you share children. But I think mainly it's people who, you know, connected with somebody who already had children, a family. Um, and he takes his responsibility seriously. And I feel he's matured. And he's really feeling the love there. Yeah, page of hearts, innocence. He wants to come forward. He wants to tell you how he's feeling he wants to communicate to you and he's coming out of that hermit energy he doesn't want to be on his own anymore it could be that he wasn't ready for a commitment before he wasn't ready to be tied down because he still had work to do on his heart he had to heal his heart or this could be mutual for both of you yeah page of angels page of swords he could have been keeping an eye on you as well you know keeping an eye on your line and as I said, they've filled their heart. We've got the high priestess intuition. So I feel they're really getting more in touch with their intuition. They're following their own gut feelings. And it's guiding them right now because they want to come forward and express their feelings to you. Yeah, they want a new beginning with the full energy. They want to have a brand new start here with you. So again, I feel it's somebody you're not with right now. And we've got the three of hearts. They want to celebrate. Yeah, they want to move this forward with the chariot energy. They want to explore this connection. They want to move forward with you because you are a wish fulfillment here. Yeah, and they want that stability. Four of stars, four of wands, advancements. They want to move it forward. They want to move this forward with you. They want to commit wow. And you've got the lover's energy. They feel your soulmates. They want this union. They want to come into union with you. Wow. They feel so much passion for you with the page of stars. They feel passion. They feel love. And they want a whole new chapter here with the universe, the world card. They want a whole new chapter. And we've got the death card, transformation. Yeah, they want to transform this connection, okay, from where you've been in, in separation. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What, what other feelings does this person have? Yeah, we've got let go of control issues. I feel this person could have been quite controlling, maybe, of your situation, um, of life in general. They were quite, you know, they needed to control things to feel safe. And they're letting go of control. Yeah, we've got honeymoon. So I feel they want to take you away. I mean, it, not necessarily a honeymoon, but we have got the commitment card there. But maybe they want to take you away on a holiday, maybe even to Venice. That's Venice, Italy. Um, have a holiday time together. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you. Yeah, they definitely want to reconcile with you. And they've been healing family issues here. So there could have been something to do with children. As I said, they're a father. So it could have been to do with children. Maybe there was issues with their own children. And they had to prioritise that. Or it's to do with their own childhood. Like in a child wounding. So let's get some other messages. What feelings or actions? What feelings or actions? with the person on your mind and i'm using another one of my decks which is my romantic mermaid oracle one and two so we've got single parents so maybe this person is a single parent maybe they split up and they had the responsibility of the children or maybe you're a single parent but they do feel this divine connection maybe that was something they were not sure they wanted to take on someone else's children yeah, past life memory. I feel that you you felt that with each other, that you'd known each other before. And yeah, I said he was manifesting you. You could be both manifesting each other, okay, using the moon energies. Yeah, you want that new beginning in love, you know, and you're both feeling, you know, in your energy of self-love. We've got seductive energy. So you're both quite seductive. You both have that uh, 
sensual connection and this is your dream lover you know this person wants to be the one for you yeah seeing the light they're understanding what this is about now yeah a lot of self-reflection learning from mistakes so we saw that with the the hermit energy okay and healing healing their heart <coughs> what feelings are actions Holding each other close. They just want to be close to you. And they want to hold you. Yeah, self-love, self-care. I feel that you've both been doing that. And they want a new romantic cycle with you here. They want to start again because they feel your soulmates. Wow. And they hope you'll open your heart to them, to love them. And they've opened up to you. They want to open up to you. Wow. So let's look at actions. Actions pile three might take. Actions poll three might take. Action poll three might take. Yeah, they've got faith in this. They've got faith in their dreams. They've got faith in you. They're feeling pulled to come towards you. And they know nothing's set in stone just because you it didn't work out before. You know, they haven't given up on this. Yeah, they're stepping out of their comfort zone and the North Node is about our destiny. They feel that you are their destiny and they want to take that chance. Actions. Yeah, Aries season again. It's time to take action. So we're in the Aries season and they could be in Aries maybe. Um, you know, they're ready to take that action. <coughs> what else? Yeah, they know communication is key. So we've got Gemini here. So Gemini season could also be significant or they've got Gemini in their chart or they are a Gemini. They know they need to communicate because they want to sort this out. And don't let pride get in your way. So they're not letting pride stop them, okay? They're, they're swallowing that. They're, they're finding the courage to move forward and believing in the impossible. They're believing that anything is possible. They're, you know, they've got that faith and hope. Um, that they can resolve this with you. So I'm going to leave it there, part three. Love and blessings. Take care.